guys. It is day 21. This week we are starting three digit numbers with addition and subtraction. As always, I'm going to walk you through each step. If you have any other questions, please let me know. We want to help you. We did not learn this while we were in school, so we want to make sure that you get all the help you need while you're at home. All right, so dog walking. Beth started a dog walking business. She walked 245 dogs in December and 389 dogs in January. How many dogs did Beth walk in December and January? So, we are going to visualize the problem and then retell the problem. So, while I'm reading the problem for the second time, I want you to visualize in your head. Beth started a dog walking business. She walked 245 dogs in December and 389 dogs in January. How many dogs did Beth walk in December and January? So if you visualize that, you can go ahead and put a check. I retold the problem to you. So our last step is to underline keywords and circle key numbers. So our numbers would be 245 dogs in December, 389 dogs, in January, and then how many dogs did Beth walk in December and January? So then we can check that box off. So we're going to write our equation down here. She walked 245, and then she walked 389, I believe, yep. And it asked how many she walks in all, so we are going to add. So we need a plus sign. And now we need to draw our base 10 blocks. So our first number is 245. So we're going to draw two hundreds, which are squares. Then we're going to draw four tens. And then five ones. So there's our first number, 245. Now we need to draw 389. So that's three hundreds. Eight tens. And nine ones. Just like when we were adding with just our two digit numbers, we're going to start in the ones and we are going to see how many ones we have. So let me make my pen a little bit skinnier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We have fourteen ones. So once we count them, we ask ourselves, is that more than 10? And it is more than 10. So what we need to do is circle 10 ones, we are crossing those ones out, drawing an arrow, and trading them for another 10. So we draw another 10. Because when you make a trade, you want to make sure you get something in return. So let's count how many ones we have left outside of the circle. One, two, three, four. So let's put a four in the ones place. After we're finished with our ones, we go to our tens. 
Next, we're going to count how many tens we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we have to remember this guy over here makes thirteen. Again, we ask ourselves, is that more than ten? And thirteen is more than ten. So we need to circle ten of them. And when we trade 10 tens, we trade it for 100. So we cross out those tens, we draw an arrow, and we draw another 100. Make sure you draw your 100. That's a very important step that sometimes we forget. After we've drawn our 100, we count how many tens are left outside of the circle. One, two, three. So we put a three in the tens place. Our last, last step is to count how many hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we put a six in the hundreds place. So our answer is 634. And just like before, when we're working with word problems, we have to put a word at the end. And we are talking about dogs. So it would be 634 dogs. All right, guys, so this is your first three-digit addition problem during our NTI work. I'm very proud of you for completing it and we will keep working on this skill during this packet. If you need any extra help or you don't understand a step that I did, please let me know and I want to help you with it. So I will find a way we could zoom, I can make a separate video just for you, we can talk on the phone, whatever you need. Just let me know. Bye guys.